Hello guys, uh, today's video uh, is about a project on the Upwork uh, website. So this is a very interesting uh, project. So in this project, uh, we have a, a script like this. So I have a place to add it uh, in my subject and uh, I need a place to enter email address. So they also have a place to insert email content. And the last step, they need to attach a Google spreadsheet file and uh, convert the file to Excel, Excel format. And uh, at last point, uh, uh, they need a trigger to run this function on a daily basis. Okay. Very interesting. And uh, here is uh, the script I designed for this project. Here I have a menu email. And uh, first, uh, you need to set up your email settings here. Okay. So before I just go to the email settings all right on the right is the sidebar I have the email settings here and uh, I have a email address you can enter or two for this uh, the copy and uh, blank cop carbon copy okay and here we have the subject and uh, also we have the email content uh, which is in HTML format uh, so HTML format is much uh, is very uh, helpful and very useful for for us to edit very uh, rich text uh, format for email body okay you can and almost every, everything here and here we have option to attach this uh, spreadsheet in email as an Excel and also here you can do some uh, email notifications and you need to set a, day, set a time so the trigger will run uh, at the time every day Okay, so we disable this and uh, I'd like to change something. Uh, let's just reset the email settings to default settings because I have a default settings. Okay. All right. So this is a default setting, so uh, email address to myself and uh, the CC is empty, BCC is also empty, subject like this and I have some sen very simple sentence in this content and uh, I will attach this uh, spreadsheet in the email as, as uh, Excel. So right now I'm going to send a test email Click this button. So, a test email have been have been sent sent to myself. Okay. Now I go to my Gmail. So let me to refresh. Okay. I, I think I just clicked the button twice. So I got two emails. And here I have this email. So this is just the test email and here you have the Excel file. So this is is a, is not a Google Sheet anymore, it's an Excel file uh, attached in your email body. Okay. And you also you also can uh, exclude the attachment so you just uncheck this this option and uh, 
Okay, let's try change the send email these out attachment. Let's save this. And also we can have a CC here. Uh, just put the same email address and save it. Now I like to try this function. So here you can manually send email. So I can send this one. All right. Uh, let's go to my email box. Delete this one. Delete this one. All right. This one failed. Why? Uh, because I in in this CC option, uh, I got a wrong email address. This this address I was thinking, uh, this email address is uh, is existing in the database, so I need to change it. Uh, save and try to send again. All right, so this one, there is no attachment in this email. And the last thing I want to show you is the email notification. So you check this uh, email notification and uh, you set a time, okay, in the day. Let's set it to 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So, so let you see. Uh, I save it. So if you go to your script editor, and you will have option to manually, you can manually set the trigger here. Okay, if you click the trigger, uh, this trigger button, like, the, like a clock, and you will see all the triggers uh, in this project. Okay, so this trigger just create, created, uh, created by this, uh, by this setting, so I select like 10 a.m. to 11, uh, 11 a.m. and uh, so it's just like this. You can set other triggers here. You can have a weak timer, so you can have an all timer, or minimum timer, or most timer, uh, a lot of that. But in this project, uh, since uh, it's only uh, so this run this is a function on daily basis so I only add a option for day timer okay you can add more and uh, that's all the the function in this uh, in this project and you also you have option to check your email quota Okay, so today I have uh, 76 left. So for free, for free account, you have a 100. You have a 100 quota. So I did a lot of tests today. And to use this, uh, so I'm going to share this, uh, this project with you guys. And if you, uh, want to try this uh, this tool you only need to go to file make a copy so let's rename this send gmail so let's name it for YouTube YouTube video okay let's make a copy
So now I have a copy on my drive, okay. It's still working. Try to go to script editor. Okay, so it's done. So you make a copy of this file and you go to the script editor and uh, so for the first time, you will not see the menu, the email menu here, and you need to go to the script editor. You just select this open function and you click run. And you will get this uh, dialog to authorize, to do the authorization. Okay, so review permission. and select your account so advance go to send gmail okay. and you have to uh, authorize all this access access so so the email will be sent on behalf of you so it's not from me anymore Allow. Let's wait in this to run. Okay, so it's done. So now you have the menu here, and you should be able to use all these functions if you go to the email settings. All right, I saw something. Very strange. Let's see if I have defined this here. So let's try to do the reset in my settings. Okay. Okay, so now the setting is done. Uh, since for the first time to run, uh, this default setting is not, is not loaded, so uh, I need to update my code. So for the first time run, for, for the very first time, I need to load these default settings to this document. But that's not a big issue, so you can use this. You just only need to use this uh, Reset email settings if you or or you can just add the settings here and you, you do the save and I think everything will be uh, working fine and uh, at the same time uh, if you add more if you need more functions uh, for this project you can contact me uh, you can. Okay, you can leave your messages. Uh, you can leave your comments in my channel on YouTube. And uh, I will see what I can do to improve this, uh, this tool. I think this tool will be uh, very useful for some people. So, so if you have any, any question, just uh, questions or any other ideas, you can uh, you can, can you can come to my channel and uh, leave your comments. Uh, if I find something uh, that interests me, I will make some uh, video for your ideas or your questions. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, thanks you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.